Hello, hello, and hello again. I have a shared word with you out of the book of Isaiah 55 and 11. And it says, so shall my word be that come forth from my mouth. The Lord is speaking here. And it shall not return to me void. Uh-oh. He's making a real statement here. But it shall accomplish, whoa, what I please. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So the Lord is letting us know how powerful his word is. And that's why it's so imperative that we study the word of God. That's why it's so imperative for us to understand as we are born again believers, or even if you're just starting out in the Bible, it's imperative to understand the provisions that are provided, the authoritative right that you have in the name of Jesus. And what he's saying here, I'm going to speak a word. So what? What? why would he speak a word? What? What, what is that about? What? Speak a word? A word for what? A word that will cover and deal with every circumstance, every situation, every answer that you need. He said that I'm going to speak a word. It's going to go forth out of my mouth. Okay? And then he was so divine by what he did. He said he swore by no other name but his own name. He didn't swear. He didn't take counsel after no one. That's how awesome he is because he is the creator of all things. But what he said, I'm going to send forth my word. And it's not going to return. So what he's saying is, my word is going to do what it's supposed to do. It's not going to come back empty. It's not going to come back short. It is going to be validated because I said so. Ooh, what an awesome, mighty God we serve, right? And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. So if he says, by his stripes, you are healed. Wow, guess what? I'm a witness. He'll heal you. But you know what? We got to make our confessions. That's the reason why we need to know the word of God. So that way you can start speaking over your life. That's how important and powerful the word is. And it will become that way for you if you allow it. God bless you. Amen.